This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, configuration of MRP, customizing MRP. Okay. So the so the topics that we are going to cover, they are we will see uh, prerequisites for MRP. So to activate MRP in the system, what settings we need to do? Levels in MRP control settings. So for MRP settings, uh, what are the various levels where we can do the settings that we will see. Then plant level MRP control parameters, plant level settings, then MRP group control parameters we will see. And then MRP type configuration, MRP type. Okay, and then MRP profile configuration, and then uh, material status configuration. MRP profile we discussed already. Okay, but let's uh, see the configuration again. And then uh, material status configuration. So these are the these are the ones uh, we'll cover today. Okay. So basically, uh, whenever you want to whenever you want to activate MRP, the the first step in in uh, system is you need to activate MRP. MRP in the system. So this is in ECC. Okay. Whenever the new plant is created. The moment a new plant is created and if you want to run MRP for that plant, you need to activate MRP first, first setting and then you have to set up the planning for entries. Okay, I will show you this in the system. Okay, so this is the ECC system basically. Okay, so if you go to this system, you need to first go to SPR. Okay. Go to SAP reference IMG. Scroll down. Okay, here go to production. Okay, go to MRP material requirement planning. Open this. Okay, here go to planning file entries. Open this. Okay, here you see activate MRP and set up planning file. Okay, so this, you need to go to this node here, MRP, material requirement planning. So if you open this, okay, here you see these are the planned codes and you have to activate here. And this is a one-time activity. So once you do it one time, that's enough. So whenever a whenever MM team creates a new plant, that plant will appear here automatically. The only thing you need to come here and you have to activate MRP. If at all you want to do MRP for the plant. If you don't activate this checkbox, then you cannot execute MRP for the plant. So this is a one-time activity. Just act, let's say you want to run MRP for this plant. Let's say 1010. So what you do, you activate this checkbox and then save it. That's all. Okay. So that's how you will activate the MRP for a plant. Okay. So now after that, the first time, you need to set up the planning file entries. Click on this button. Okay, you have to uh, create a variant and you have to run this planning file entry. So this one, I will show you in the next class how to create a variant and how to how to schedule it. I'll show you in the next next class. Okay, how to do this activity. So planning file entries we already discussed. Planning file entries. What are the planning file entries? Why it is used? Already we discussed during our MRP session. Okay, here. We discussed already in the in the technical process of the MRP. So that planning file entries first time you have to do it here. Okay. So this is how you will activate the MRP. MRP. Okay. Now after that you need to maintain the MRP data in the metal master here. Once once you activate MRP and you make the setup planning file entries, this is one time requirement. Initial time you will do this. And after that, for all the materials in the metal master, you have to maintain the valid MRP type and valid material status. This is master data. Of course, this is master data. Okay. Now, the one the one which we discussed is in ECC. Okay. Now in S4 HANA, they removed this activation of MRP. Okay. The moment a plant is created, by default, it is it is uh, activated for MRP. No need to activate MRP separately. Okay, so let me show you this. Now I will go to the S4 HANA system. Okay, so if I go to the S4 HANA system.
Okay, this is a S4 HANA system. So again, if I go to that node, SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Okay, scroll down, go to production. Okay, go to MRP. Okay, open this. Your planning file address. If you see this, you don't have those two options. So suppose if I go to ECC system, let me go back. Go back. This is ECC. See, you see. There is a node called activate MRP and set up planning file, whereas in S4 HANA, they removed it. So the moment a plant is created, it is activated for MRP by default. So that is a difference. Okay. But in ECC, you have.